No taxation. No rights to government services. Taxation is theft and is forbidden. The government may not steal to fund its efforts. No government services are a right. If individuals want a service, but do not want to pay for it, they will have to find someone who is willing to offer that service for free. If no one volunteers to perform the service for free, then the service does not have to be offered. Individual people bear the ultimate responsibility to defend their own lives, freedoms, and properties. Individuals may grant authority to others to provide security for them. Each individual has the responsibility to be vigilant in order to protect his or her freedoms, property, and life. Each individual is encouraged to document each instance of tyranny, so that force is not used beyond the minimal needed for self-defense. Only the property owner may impose fees for physical access to, or use of, their property. No external government, group, or individual may impose any such fees or tariffs. Privacy Government shall not have any rights to privacy. Government must provide timely public visibility into all actions it performs. Individuals not using force may choose to implement privacy, but not at the cost of another individual's human rights to his or her own life, freedom, or property. Privacy is best achieved by having control over your own tangible property. Individual human rights trump any vote of the majority. The vote of the majority shall never take away the human rights of the individual, as listed here. No extradition. There will be no extradition from Freedom Haven. If a government of foreign nations seeks to arrest any individual who broke their laws, they can only do so in their own country, they should not come to Freedom Haven seeking to arrest that individual. While they are in Freedom Haven, neither should they expect Freedom Haven to extradite said individual, unless the individual can be proven to have committed crimes worthy of banishment from Freedom Haven, according to the laws of the corresponding province of Freedom Haven. Representatives of those foreign nations are welcome to visit the provinces of Freedom Haven with the consent of the province property owner, as long as they abide by the laws of that province and do not threaten another individual's life, freedom, and or property. No individual in Freedom Haven, including the representatives of other nations, is given any special human rights that are not also available to all other individuals. Visiting representatives of other nations will be required to abide by laws in accordance with this Freedom Haven constitution, just like everyone else. Foreign nations may choose to prosecute members of Freedom Haven for laws that that individual has broken. In the Freedom Haven province they reside, in accordance with the laws of that province. Courts should be wary of evidence provided by foreign countries since those countries may have an incentive to frame the innocent with falsified evidence, so that they can circumvent the no extradition restriction. Limitations In addition to any other limitations listed here, any use of force or government action not justified in this constitution violates individual human rights and is forbidden. Any laws, regulations, executive orders, etc., passed in Freedom Haven that are in conflict with this constitution, are considered null and void and shall not be recognized by Freedom Haven's courts, security forces, police, army, etc., or residents.